look back into the pop charts, 25 years, you'll see the name of an artist there, and as well, if you look in the pop charts this week, you'll probably see it there this week. For 10 years, we've had lots and lots of requests for the one and only Cliff. So, when we got that Cliff had some time to spare, what we did, we turned the tables on somebody, because normally it's the parents that know, and it's the children that don't know. This time, it was the children that knew, and the parent, in this case, Mama, who didn't know that this amazing surprise was going to turn up. So, listen to this letter. Dear Jim, please could you fix it for my mum and me to meet Cliff Richard. I'm a fan of his, and my mum has been since she was my age. I hope he is still singing when I have children. Thank you, Gillian Bennett. So, remember, Mum does not know and has just come back from a shopping trip, as you can see now. Hi, are you Gillian? You're the one that wrote to Uncle Jim, is it? Yeah. Great. Now listen, uh, what have you done with your mum? She's in town shopping. How long is she going to be away? I don't know. She won't come back and catch us now. OK, I'll, I'll just hide the car. Ron, you can hide this thing, can you? Thanks. Now then, where are we going to hide? I don't know. Um, oh, crikey. Um, how long has this been here? Has your mum seen this? Well, there's nobody in it. Should we use it? Right after you. We'll hide in here until she comes along. OK. Oh, do you fancy a cup of tea? <laughs> Can you see her? No. Now, look, I don't know what she looks like. Can you describe her for me? She's got grey brown hair and wears a white shirt and black skirt and black jumper. Black skirt, black jumper, white shirt. OK. Grey brown hair. How tall is she? Eight foot? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You know she's not eight foot. Anyway, she's not expecting us, is she? No. This is a total secret, and it's got to stay that way till she gets here. Oh, is that a? Hang on, hold it. Oh, look, Danny, there's two of them. Which one's your mum? The one with the whitish coat. The whitish coat. Oh, your neighbour's very good. She's saying, see you later. As though nothing's happening. She knows all about this, does she? Yeah. Come on, she's acting well, isn't she? Uh, yeah. Okay. There she is. She's just going in now. Your dad's open door. Right. You know he's going to be talking. Do we go straight out? Come on, come on. Right, let's run before this car comes across. Oh, what's he going to say? You're going to jump up this wall? OK, here we go. Oh, I know about this. I haven't got any training. Right. Have you got a front door? Right, you stand behind me. Morning. Uh, is, is this Esther? Yes. Come on out here a minute, Esther. Is this Gillian? Yes. Gillian wrote to Uncle Jim and said, would, would, would he fix a meeting? Because apparently of all the people in the world you want to meet, you want to meet me. And I thought, this is a woman of taste. So it's nice to meet you. But listen, uh, we thought rather than just meet you, why don't I sort of, can I sing something here or something? I'm very good at it. <laughs> Lead on. I'm, I'm done, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Morning, Dave. Morning. That's the husband. <laughs> right, come on through. <laughs> it is your house, actually. But listen, if I'm going to sing, I thought, well, I might as well do it properly and uh, have all the speakers. I mean, this is the kind of stuff we use on stage. And so uh, I'll just test it out. Hello, testing, one, one, two. <laughs> Turn it down a little bit and um, I'll, uh, I'll get to this. Now, hang on. So, Esther, before I do this, I've got to tell you, I need a band. And it just so happens that we've got one here. At great expense, they cost 10 quid. Not each, the whole band. There they are. All in, fellas. <laughs> All right. OK. <laughs> so sit right down here. Come on, sit down. Make yourself comfortable. Julian, make sure that cushion fits in the right place. <laughs> right. OK. I got myself a crying, talking, sleeping, walking, living dog. I got to do my best to please it, just cause she's So no 
big hunk and steal her away from me. Got myself a crying talking, sleeping, walking, living now. I got to do my best to please her, just cause she's a living now. I got a roving eye and that is why she satisfies my soul. I got the one and only. will never be the same again. No, it won't. <laughs> Tell me the truth. Did you know before we sprung that cliff on your front door? Not a thing. Not a thing at all. <laughs> you no. Were, otherwise, you were a great actress. Because when you opened the door, that was something else. Would you keep looking back in the house for like that? Well, I looked to my husband for reassurance that I wasn't going around the twist. <laughs> 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 you got your mum into some bother, didn't you? Running across that field. <laughs> Tell me what happened when you ran across the field because you couldn't run with your shoes on. Well, I had to take my shoes off because the heels kept um, sticking into the grass. Yes. And as we were gaily running up the field, I stepped in a cow pat. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> well, you did terribly well. And I must tell the ladies and gentlemen what a marvellous guy that cliff was because he stayed there all day. There was no hurry, and you've got an enormous book of photographs, oh, haven't yes, you? Yes. It took, I've never seen so many pictures. So there was a very busy guy, ladies and gentlemen, who did us very, very proud indeed, and it was a, a special thing for a special day. Well, we happen to have here some 10th anniversary badges, in beautiful velvet and gold and purple, and, Mama, I think that you deserve yours for having such a tremendous shock, such a marvellous day. And you, young Gillian William there, for getting your mum into so much bother. My word, look at that one. Yay! <laughs> Yay! 